Welcome everyone. Welcome to our webinar, How to Access TechSoup Donations and Resources. I'm Susan Hope Bard here at TechSoup, and I'll be one of your hosts today. Uh, before we get started with the formal presentation, I do wish to introduce you to our ReadyTalk platform. So um, right now you should be seeing a screen that says Using ReadyTalk. Essentially the entire left side of your screen there should be a bar that's a chat box. The chat box is for you to ask any questions you have. So during the presentation if you have a question, there's no need for you to raise your hand. Um, you can simply chat your question. We'll be queuing your questions for answering during periodic or episodic portions of Q&A. And uh, myself or Daphne, our other uh, host today, will be answering your questions. So if it doesn't get answered immediately, don't worry. We will get to it. And anything we don't get to during the actual event, we will be queuing up and our customer service team will respond back to you, or I will. Um, if you lose your Internet connection, you can reconnect using the link emailed to you in either your confirmation or reminder. If you lose your phone connection, if you've called in by phone, you can simply redial the number. If at any time you can't hear the audio or something occurs where it's out of sync with the presentation, it could be your Internet connection, we do recommend that you simply call in. That should resolve all the issues. We are recording this event. That's why everyone is on mute. So um, what I usually do is about an hour after the event, I edit the recording to take out any of the music in the beginning or the end, and then I forward out a link to the recording as well as this PowerPoint presentation. So you can feel free to share this with anyone. Um, we do host and keep all of our recordings on our website. So you can go to our TechSoup website, www.techsoup.org slash community slash events dash webinars. Don't worry, I will be sending out that link in the chat in a few moments and also in the follow-up email you'll receive. So, um, also, if you would like to go to our YouTube channel, we do have one where we have all of our webinars. That's at www.youtube.com slash TechSoup video. You can also tweet us using hashtag TSWebinars. So um, hope, hopefully I've cleared up those questions. And I will chat out um, the call-in number periodically during the event just in case you do lose connection. Now let's talk a little bit about our objectives. Um, Today we want to help you get a better understanding of the TechSoup donation program and the resources that are available to you as a nonprofit. We want to expand or at least introduce you uh, to getting comfortable with accessing those donations through our website, understand the variety of resources that are there, and we do want to answer your questions. Um, I, I do want to introduce really the person who is going to be the main question answerer today, uh, Daphne. She is an Account Management Specialist with Client Services, and I'll allow her to introduce herself. Okay, hello. Yeah, so my name is Daphne. Uh, I'll be, could be one of the people when you call into the Customer Service Center who will um, could answer your call and hopefully uh, answer your question or point you in the, in the right resources. I'm really looking forward to taking part in this webinar today. Great. Thanks so much, Daphne. Um, and she's actually sitting right across from me in the room, so hopefully we can be responsive to all of your questions and um, get everyone here more acclimated to TechSoup's resources. Um, another thing I do want to say is we really welcome all of you that are joining us from American Nonprofits. If you heard about this in Blue Avocado, a special warm welcome to all of you. And I will be asking a series of poll questions in a few minutes just to see how many of you are familiar with our website or resources or know if you are a member. So. Um, let's talk a little bit about TechSoup. First of all, we are located – our headquarters is in San Francisco, California. So that's where Daphne and I are located right now. It's a little rainy and a little overcast today. And I, while I talk about TechSoup, go ahead and tell us where you're from. Tell us the city and the state you're joining us from, or if you're joining us from another country. Go ahead and chat that in. Practice using the chat box. So um, TechSoup really doesn't just help NGOs overcome barriers 
to effective use of technology, we help overcome language, economic, uh, geographical, cultural knowledge, and access barriers. We create new ways for you to access technology, new paths for you to connect and network, and new means to learn and develop skills. So we really we want to help you better achieve your mission. That is our goal. And today, hopefully we'll be able to connect you with some of those resources. So a couple of things about our impact you can see here together, um, TechSoup. We have given out $7.6 billion in technology products and grants. So that's, that's right, billion. So this is what we try to do. We partner with folks like Microsoft, um, Adobe, Symantec to get you discounted or donated products so that you can better meet your mission. So our first poll question right now is I want to learn a little bit more about each of you. I can see some of you are here from um, St. Augustine, the nation's oldest city. Yay! Thank you for joining us. Oh, I see lots of folks. Oh, Missouri, Georgia, New York, Louisiana, New Mexico. Thank you so much. Excellent. So now what I'd like you to do is take a minute and tell us really what you do in your org. And there are a couple of options if you're an exec or you're in the leadership or board, if you're like a program manager, if you're in marketing and communications, if you're in development or fundraising, operations. Uh, this includes your HR, your training teams, your admin. Also if you're in direct service, so if you're here with a library, um, you could be in the CERC uh, department or you could be at the CERC desk. Um, if you're a volunteer or an intern, we do know that lots of nonprofits have volunteers that hold operational um, um, jobs. Also if you're in IT or if you wear many hats or other. And if it is other, go ahead and chat that in in the chat box. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you another 5 seconds. So 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I'm going to close the poll so everyone can see the results. Thank you all for chatting in. So you can see here a lot of you are here. Um, it looks like a lot from the executive leadership teams, board members, and <laughs> then followed closely by the many hats. Great. Thank you so much. And a couple of you have chatted in. Um, office manager, so oh she does everything. Some of you do everything. Um, great. Great. Thank you so much. That gives me an idea of who we are addressing and to make sure that we do follow up with you and if you need any other assistance. Great. Thanks for answering that question. And one more. We are going to be talking about an overview of all of our products, but this may help me hone in a little bit more on what you need to know. So you can check more than one. Um, do you want to know more about Microsoft, Adobe, Intuit, Symantec? Or are you really digging hardware and you're really interested in our Dell program? So, or if there's something else you want to learn, put that in the chat box and I have my pencil so I can write that down and make sure I do address that. And as you're answering this poll question, again a quick reminder, you don't need to raise your hand. You can simply chat in your questions in the chat box. Sheila, yes, your chat is working. Thank you so much. And if you do chat in a question, just everybody just so you know, we may not immediately respond to it, so don't worry. We are getting it. It's just we'll, we'll get around to it either during the verbal Q&A or Daphne may kind of chat back to one of you or also respond and broadcast to all. All right, great. So I'm going to close this poll in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, great. So it looks like we've got Microsoft and Adobe followed by hardware. All right. Okay. Okay, great. Microsoft is always a big one. Um, interested in donor management software. Okay, I'll, I will be relying on Daphne for some of that. Um, fundraising, great. Okay, donor management software. Okay, Dell. Okay, great. Hardware. Thank you so much. Perfect. All right, then I am 
I'm going to go ahead and get started a little bit with our full list of all of the corporate partners we have. And I'm going to talk a little bit later on about the different ways you can browse in our TechSoup catalog. Uh, but here are all of our corporate partners. So I'm going to kind of give you an overview. You can see we can't get to each one of these, but these are things that we offer to eligible nonprofits. And a couple of other things you, you should realize that this is the end of our fiscal year. So at TechSoup, our fiscal year runs from July 1st through June 30th, so that as we near that fiscal year end, we want to remind you that many of our products um, allow, allow nonprofits to get a fixed number of those tech products during that time frame, and then it resets again on July 1st. Now keep in mind that every donation program is different. Just like you, you may give money to a church, a synagogue, or a nonprofit. You choose how much you give and how it's used. Um, likewise, our corporate partners do the same thing. So they may have um, specific guidelines for small nonprofits or for larger nonprofits depending upon um, their operational dollars. And we'll go a little bit into that in a few moments. Okay. So who is eligible to get TechSoup technology? Um, nonprofits with 501c3 status. Anyone that has that, we can connect you with tech donations. So as I mentioned, our donor partners choose where to direct their donations. Um, eligibility requirements do vary based on each of the different corporate donors. And our last poll question is, are you or your nonprofit a TechSoup member? It's completely okay to say you're not sure. Do not worry because <laughs> we have our customer service representatives are amazing, and they can also help follow up with you afterwards. You may indeed be a member and just not be aware of it. Okay, so you, you guys are getting really good at these poll questions. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see, I'm going to give you five more seconds. Five, four, three. Two, one. I'm going to skip to the results, and I'm going to close the poll. Okay, so uh, about 70% of you know that you are um, a member, so that's great. And, and then um, some of you do have some questions about your status, and our customer service reps will be able to help you with that, um, not during this particular event, but can follow up with you. So great. Thank you so much. For those of you that aren't members, very quickly, and there, there were a few of you, you can actually access an eligibility quiz, and I am going to chat that out to you right now for those of you who aren't sure if you are eligible. In taking that quiz, you'll need a couple of things. Um, it's a quick way for you to see which don't, you know, donation programs you are eligible for. Um, you'll have to have a few things ready. So make sure that you know if you are one of those, if you are a nonprofit, a public library, or if you are a non-501c3 public library. Um, the questions to check your availability, um, information you will also need to have is your EIN, which is something that is created by the IRS. Uh, so it's not a designation we've uh, made up ourselves, but it's an IRS designation. If you are not sure what that is, you can check usually with your financial department um, in your nonprofit. And you'll also need to know your budget. So that should be able to help those of you that aren't sure or you're not members yet. A couple of other things. Um, knowing how much you can get. So like I said, each of our donor partners, they do very, each one has different regulations and different um, eligibility requirements. Knowing how much you can get is pretty easy to find out on our website. Um, when I navigate to our website, I'll show you some of this, the rules, eligibility, and restrictions. But it, on each product, when you go to take a look, a closer look at the product, there will be tabs underneath. There's a description, system requirements, and so like a, there's a description, there's system requirements, and then here are rules, eligibility, and restriction. Here is where it will give you a better idea of how much you can get. 
And there's also your donation request history. Those of you that are members or becoming members, um, what will happen is once you have your login, you'll be able to go to your donation request history and see exactly what you've requested, the date it was requested, and when that's up for renewal. So it's, it's actually very helpful. And also Microsoft has a donation center history as well that you can access. And before we move on to some of those Microsoft products, I just want to make sure there aren't any questions we need to address. Daphne, any questions we want to take a look at yet? Well, one of the questions that came up was um, that that um, that your that one of the organizations is still in pending. And so, just to, to kind of clarify the process, what happens is once you fill out that registration form, um, we probably get a, a at least 100 registra registrations a day for new organizations. On our end, we need to do some our due diligence and check out that your 501c3 status and that your the agent is validated. So there will be times that that um, that you'll um, you'll wonder kind of what your status is. You can always log in and you'll see the status. If you are in particular need of, of something, you can always call into the customer service center and say, you know, I registered my. My organization is still in, quali uh, in qualification pending. Can you please um, take a look at my account, and we'll be glad to do that for you. Great. Thanks so much. So you guys do understand that process. So those of you that are concerned or worried um, that Daphne explained that process. I do want to dig into Microsoft as that was one of the, the top um, donation programs that you were interested in. And Daphne will help me with some of the more technical things. Um, first of all, uh, Microsoft Donations is by far our most popular um, donated product. It's really the hallmark for TechSoup, and that's what we're most known for. You can get donated versions of Microsoft Windows, Office, Office 365, and Windows Server. So there's lots of options there. You can also get Microsoft Office Standard and Professional Plus through TechSoup, as well as Office for Mac. And finally, you can get uh, donated versions of Windows Server software through TechSoup as well. And there's something called the Microsoft Assurance Program. And these are additional benefits that are given to our eligible nonprofits and libraries. And these are inclusive of free upgrades, um, office in multiple languages. Let's say your nonprofit also serves people that speak another language. You can get office in another language. Um, there's a home use program. So if you have um, a license and you have it at work, you can also put it on your machine at home and also free e-learning courses. Um, once you've um, ordered any of the Microsoft products, they give you access to all of their e-learning courses, which are actually quite helpful. And there is a, a, a link that I'm going to chat out right now that I think um, could be great. And it's really about the Microsoft program. So you can take a look at that just chatted that out. And there's also a forum, and I will include that link in the follow-up email, and you can read a little bit more about the Microsoft Assurance benefits. And um, I am going to ask Daphne to jump in here a little bit more about the Microsoft Assurance, because I do know that when you um, order the program, there's a two-year um, window, and you can go up or down. That's right. So with the software assurance, um, it's a, it's a two-year um, subscription you get to the software insurance. It gives you the option um, for um, for a, you can downgrade you can downgrade if you need to to downgrade. Um, it gives you um, free upgrades if upgrades come out within that two-year period, and it does you know the e-learning courses is is something that our members have have certainly used. Now the one thing to remember about the um, software assurance is that there's some confusion where people think that the licenses are expire after the, the, the end of the two years. The Microsoft licenses are perpetual licenses, so they will not expire. The software assurance is just within that two years. Um, what will happen at the end of that two year, you'll be prompted and to, to, um, you can go in and you can renew the um, soft, software assurance. Um, you can even renew it after it's lapsed if you need to, if you want to take advantage of those of those benefits again. 
Perfect. Thanks, Daphne. I think the important thing is that for all of us in nonprofit land, and um, I should tell you that I worked uh, for the American Red Cross for a long time, and I also worked in library land, and sometimes there are machines that are older, and they are running um, older systems, so sometimes you have to downgrade. And so that is a great option for us in nonprofit world where sometimes we can't always afford to, to upgrade all of our machines. So I'm sure some of you know what I mean. All right, so um, there's also, like I mentioned, the cloud services. And if you go to the Microsoft Cloud Services website, which um, I will include in our follow-up email, you can see that we offer Microsoft Office 365. There's free and discounted plans. There's actually five plans. And um, I'll also chat, I'll also send out a link to some articles that we've written about Office 365, both about, also about using SharePoint and just getting things set up in terms of your licenses and making decisions, what, what the best license is for you and your nonprofit. Also what's really cool about the Microsoft um, Cloud Services is the Power BI. So if those of you that are interested in using data visualization, um, we also offer Tableau, but Microsoft has an awesome and powerful program, Power BI. All right, and I will take us to the Microsoft page once I go to actually Live Navigate um, on our website. I'm going to continue covering some of our top products. Um, a few of you did mention Symantec. So it's important to understand the Symantec donation program here provides you with Symantec Enterprise and Symantec Norton products. So it's for eligible nonprofits and charities throughout the U.S. You can use these products to enhance your security on like network computers. And it also includes products that can be used in small and medium as well as large enterprise environments. Um, in addition to Symantec, we also have things like Bitdefender and Komodo. And I know right now security is kind of um, pretty important in nonprofit um, world, and there's a lot of discussion about it. We've also put out quite a few articles and some uh, video blogs about security and using Microsoft products. So you can definitely check those out on our website. We also have a subscription program called TechSoup Boost. So what this is really is uh, it's a fairly new subscription program. It bundles together software and hardware. And it lets you sample a number of programs without having to pay each of those admin fees. And there are different things included in Boost every quarter. So it could be something like the Adobe products some of you are interested in, like Photoshop or Premiere Elements, Tableau, um, Shopify, or some other things as well. And you can find out about that on TechSoup.org. Hardware, a lot of you are interested in hardware. And I can tell you that we've got a, a huge like, library and catalog of software, but there are a lot of different hardware options. So this is desktops, laptops, tablets, hotspots, um, like mobile beacon, projectors, and more. And I'm going to cover a few of those now. So when you go to our website, and I'll navigate to this, um, there's a couple of different, uh, we call them carousels, but you'll be able to see that there's RCI, and RCI is our Refurbished Computer Initiative. So this is where we provide high quality and competitively priced desktops, laptops, and other hardware to eligible nonprofits. We also offer Dell, Mobile Beacon, and Journey Ed. So the refurbished computers, um, uh, you can see here this is what um, just a sample. And this is what a product description would look like along with the admin fee. And keep in mind the admin fees are really what um, TechSoup needs to be able to continue to provide these products and the wraparound support from our customer service as well as the ongoing education. Some of you are chatting in about Mac computers. Sometimes um, we do, but right now we, I don't believe we have any right now. Um, but sometimes we do. And I'll let Daphne address that in a moment. But I also just wanted to, to quickly um, tap into some of the other things. There's the RCI, which is the refurbished program, right? 
Then we also have a Dell program. And the Dell program is you pay one admin fee, and it gives you access to, to quarterly discounts. So essentially what happens is Dell offers our members, our eligible members who, who get that discount, who, who get, use the admin, or who order it, you can then go to their website and you'll be given a special link, and then you can see what's kind of on special for that quarter. So um, it, you can save up to about 45% on Dell products. That's laptops, desktops, servers, printers, and more. Employees and volunteers at your nonprofits can also save on their own Dell purchases. So um, that's inclusive of the laptops, desktops, TVs, gaming systems, accessories, and more. So that's, that's really a great program. And for the refurbished program, um, I wanted to mention a couple of the top manufacturers. So in addition to Dell, right, there's new hardware from Dell, and there's also refurbished. Then we also offer HP and Lenovo. And all of the refurbished computers are designated to meet the standards, those rigorous standards of corporate users, so not individual consumers for home use. So we really do work hard to provide you with our, the partners that we work with guarantee that all of the hardware is in excellent working condition, and it's undergone thorough testing, um, repair, restoration, and cleaning. I've actually gotten um, refurbished hardware before, so I can tell you that I've been pretty happy with that myself. All right. Um, any questions about that so far, Daphne? And I did want to address the Mac question and the frequency with which we get those donations. Okay, yeah, we often get calls of uh, people requesting um, Mac pro um, products. You know, it's really dependent on 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 the. Um, on the, the companies that we work with. Um, they do come up occasionally. The one thing I would say is when, uh, um, if when you become a member, you can sign up for something. It's called New Product Alerts. And I can tell you that when we do have new products coming into stock or things coming back into stocks, there, that will be part of the notification. Um, so that can be the best way. Um, you can always call in um, with some of the, the products um, not so much Mac, but with some of the other products that we might go out of stock. Um, if it shows out of stock, like the Symantec or, or some of the Adobe, you can always call in and uh, we'll be able to check our inventory checklist and hopefully give you some more, some more information about the timeline for that. Thanks so much. Yes, yeah, so um, I am going to chat out. Some of you folks had some questions about the Dell Affiliate Program and what they offer. So I'm just going to chat out a link to our website where you can kind of take a look at some of the products. And I'll navigate there in a few moments as well. Um, just a, a couple other things very quickly. We are going to get to software. Um, and very quickly, just so you understand, the admin fees that you see here are including shipping, uh, do include shipping and handling. And I know that that is, that's, that's a pretty common question. Um, and I'm going to move on to another piece of hardware before I talk about some additional software programs. Um, Journey Ed is actually something relatively new. Um, it gives you access to discounts on products that are not in our TechSoup catalog. So we partnered with JourneyEd to make academic discounts on more than 5,000 software and hardware products. So I'm going to tell you that I personally, as the Training and Education Manager, have used JourneyEd um, to get a software program called Camtasia. Camtasia is really a video production software, and um, we used that discount to be able to build videos for our website and things that we do in our training and education department. So um, most of these discounts were previously only available to students, schools, or others in the educational marketplace. So journeyed.com, the products come from more than 200 vendors. And like I said, Camtasia is one of those. Um, digital cameras 
Corel products for video production, 3D printers, charging stations, and, and a lot more. And I'm just going to give you a sample because I can't take you to the, to the site itself. You have to actually have the, you know, order the, the product to be able to get to the site. But here is like an example of uh, our sample products and pricing. So um, there are some things like tablets. Um, there's a projector, um, WordPerfect, um, Camtasia. So I hope that, that helps a little. Um, and I know our customer service team can help a little bit with JourneyEd products, but like everything else, they change their product uh, lineup when, depending upon what, what they are offering. So once you actually have that product donation, you can go in and navigate through their many, many products to see if there is something you are interested in using in your nonprofit. So um, before I go to our website and navigate to Microsoft and Adobe, I do very quickly all right, to our education and expertise tailored to nonprofits. Um, we do have free webinars. I can tell you we have webinars weekly. We have some webinars that are specifically geared to libraries, but a lot of our webinars are geared to all nonprofits and libraries. You can go to our website, and I'm going to um, send that out to you right now, where you can access um, all of our upcoming events. And you, they're all free, so you, you're free to join us. We also have our TechSoup courses, which are e-learnings. So all of these are kind of on demand. So you take these in your own time anywhere on your, on your phone, on your tablet, on your laptop, on your desktop. Right now we have about 14 courses in the catalog. Um, the majority of them are free. We did partner with Idealware to offer a series of tech planning courses. I know not the most sexy of topics, but it is necessary for nonprofits. And that's a great um, course track. We also offer courses on design. Like a lot of you were interested in Adobe, so I'm going to talk about the software in just a couple minutes. Um, but we've got courses just like we call them Adobe Absolute Beginner Courses that we've worked on here with our designers just to kind of get you started um, within the context of nonprofit. So like uh, building a fundraiser invitation using Adobe InDesign. And that's a, a free course. It's like an hour long. It's pretty easy. So um, that's our our courses, we also have tips, how-tos, and news. Look, when you can subscribe to our free newsletters, and they'll have links to the most up-to-date articles that include those how-tos and tips. So we encourage you to do that. You can do that when you just log into the website and create your account. You can choose which newsletters you'd like to receive, whether it's our product alerts, whether it's our Buy the Cup, which, it, which comes out twice a month, or our library newsletter which, come out, which comes out once a month. Right? So how to find products on TechSoup? And I'm not sure if we have any other questions so far. Should I just keep on going? Well, actually, I just I see one of the questions. Uh, one of the questions was um, if you need to log in or have login um, access to be able to, to check the prices. You don't. Anyone can browse the catalog, so that could make it handy if you have um, an outside tech person who needs to uh, to see what we have, um, and then then um, can they can look at the you know they can get the prices and then. Um, and then refer to the authorized agent on the account who will need to make the um, the um, the request. Another question that came up, and this often comes up, is is that so that the turnaround um, time for a donation request is a two to three day um, processing time. That email will then go to um, the organization email. Um, Microsoft adds tax on a couple extra days but that's a special kind of licensing um, thing. So what I would say is if you put in an order and you don't get something within two to three days, give us a call, send us an email. Um, our uh, fulfillment emails sometimes will go into the spam. Sometimes there is a discrepancy with the organization email, but please call in and we can, we can help you out with that um, and get you your fulfillment email. Thanks so much, Daphne. I am actually going to share my desktop now and take you to the website um, 
we will be able to help you if there's a specific product that you're looking to add to your catalog or to add to your cart. I'm going to try to see if I can help you find that. Um, and I'm going to look at both the Microsoft and the Adobe program. So bear with me as I transition to share my desktop. So. Okie dokie. So you should be seeing my desktop right now. And while I am actually here, I will not be able to see any of the chat questions. So um, I know that uh, Daphne will interrupt me or jump in if anyone needs any help. So a couple of you, actually a lot of you were interested in browsing and looking for Microsoft products. So there's two different ways you can browse. You can do it by donor or company or by category. So if we're looking for Microsoft, which it did seem a lot of you are interested in Microsoft products, you can simply follow this. You can go to the product catalog and then click on Microsoft. And then we, here we have the Microsoft Software Donation Program. So here is where you can look for a specific product. You can browse for it. Or if you are looking for something very specific like Windows 10, you can also do a search. So uh, it looks like here in the product donations when we did that search, I am coming up with a lot of different hardware. So let's go back to Microsoft and browse their products. So you can see here that there's a couple of drop-down menus. So whether it's Desktop application software, operating system, there's our upgrades or, or systems, server software and licenses. Here's for the Mac products, um, software recommended for small organizations, as, um, software as a service, infrastructure as a service. Um, so you can see there's lots of options there. And you can also see here for Office Suites or Office Individual Applications. So when you do find the product that you are looking for, so let's say some of you were interested in Office for Mac, you click on the View Detail. You see the admin fee here is $29. View the details. And then you are going to have another window that opens up that gives you even more information about the product. Um, you can look at the description. You can look at the system requirements. You can also look at the rules, eligibility, and restrictions. So um, one other thing in the description, it tells you what apps are in that particular product. So in this one it's Excel, Outlook, PowerPoint, Word, and OneNote. And I hope that helps a little bit with the different Microsoft products, system requirements. Um, these are technical specs. And your rules and eligibility. So this tells you the quantity, the budget, um, and then the information about nonprofits and public libraries only. You will need to log in to add it to your cart. So if you don't have an account yet, you can set up an account as um, we described earlier. You can just go in, log in, and create your own account. And you can do the eligibility quiz, and then go ahead and follow through. And our customer service will go through and make sure that you're an eligible nonprofit. And then you have someone set up as the authorized purchaser, and then you can go in and order products. I want to make sure that there that We've answered the questions that folks had about my. Okay, great. I just want to make sure because I'm sharing my desktop and I can't see the questions. So Microsoft, yeah, you have another one. So one just came in from, uh, and it's the question is: Is there a limit uh, an organization can order? Um, if it's okay if I could um, hop in and kind of explain the allotment because I think I realized I used that in one, in one of my answers. So what happens is each one of our donor partners sets an allotment of how many products they want to donate to per organization per year. Um, with everything except for Microsoft, we'll put Microsoft aside right now, with everything else, the Adobe, the Symantec, the Bitdefender, our fiscal year is July 1st to June 30th. 
Um, and what that means is, for example, um, organizations can get up to four donated Adobe Desktop products within that fiscal year. After that fiscal year, they can come back and request more. Now that information will be found on, the, um, on each one of our product pages. There is a tab for, um, for restrictions and eligibility, and that's where you'll find the information about the um, allotment. Um, Microsoft has, a, has, a, has its own uh, two-year cycle. It's very generous, 50 licenses per title group. Per two, for two years. That information, there's lots of information on the website about um, kind of explaining how uh, Microsoft um, uh, gives its donations. Great. Thanks. And I tried to navigate as Daphne was speaking to kind of show you where you could find that. And again, um, if if the email communications between our customer service representatives and you is not working and you need additional help, I know some folks had chatted out they really needed a very specific product, you can call in. We do have a, a help tab where you can contact us. There is an email and there's also um, a phone number you can call. And I can chat that out after I go to the Adobe products. I know some of you are interested in Adobe products. And I can tell you that I am a full-on user of all of the Adobe Creative Cloud products. And I use them for the creation of some of our educational um, products. So what I simply did is I went to the product catalog, and I just went right to Adobe. Um, you could have also gone to look for design or you know, um, web design, and then you could also find Adobe products. So there's a short video about the Adobe do Donation Program, and they just give you a little overview of the different products. Again, eligibility and restrictions. Um, just as Daphne said before, um, they have specific eligibility and restrictions for, for different nonprofits. So here are some of the discounted rates for the Adobe products. So we've got the Creative Cloud. Um, this is everything, and it's an individual um, membership. And you can click, you can view the details. The admin fee is $5. Click to view details. And then you can drill down even further into the description, um, the applications that are included. Let me scroll down and show you. You can see here this is the full Monty. So this is everything you could possibly want in design software. Um, and then you can look at the details and the service costs, and again the rules, eligibility, and restrictions. And I'm going to let Daphne jump in for a second. Okay, so I just want to um, clarify, and this is actually one of the questions that came in about the administrative fees. So for, um, for the hardware that you would get, the administrative fee covers the hardware and the shipping as we talked about. With, um, with any of the downloadable products, so the Adobe, the Symantec, the administrative fee covers that donation. So we're a nonprofit ourselves. The administrative fee is how we keep the lights on and keep the dogs fed. So that's what, how we um, are able to keep supporting the work that you do. Now I do want to point out with, a, with some of our newer um, products like the Adobe Creative Cloud, that that administrative fee actually gets you access to a discounted rate. So you're going to pay the administrative fee, and then you will also be paying um, a discounted rate to Adobe. And then that information would be actually in that Details and Service Cost um, link. And um, so I just wanted to, to point out um, to, to pay attention to if, it's, uh, if it says Access to Discounted Rates, it means that we'll, there will be additional fees. Thanks. And it is, it's a significant discount off the retail cost. So um, it's important to read all of the details. And if you have questions, um, we do have our customer service reps that can answer those questions either by email or phone. So we encourage you, like, first of all, just make sure you read all of the details. Um, Take, take your time before you make any um, product orders. And if you have questions, it's best if you speak one-on-one -on -one with someone or have um, an email exchange. Right now we're trying to give you broad spectrum 
um, brushes for this, but um, and just give you access to where you can find the information. Hopefully we can answer a, a large number of your questions, but there may be some that require additional follow-up, and that's okay too. We can, we can do that as well. I just also wanted, um, this is another really good question about um, searching our catalog. If we could kind of go back to that. So there are different ways um, to search the catalog. You can search it by, um, by donor partner or by category. Um, someone uh, just mentioned that they didn't realize that um, Adobe owned BlackBot and were interested in the BlackBot. Sometimes if there are um, kind of subsidiary um, ownership, you're, you might be looking for one. So you can always search by the donor or company. Um, under the product catalog. Um, we also suggest searching by category if you have an idea of what, what, what function that you want the, the software to, to perform at your organization. Actually, that's a good point. Since I took us to directly to Microsoft and Adobe, the other way is you can search by category. So um, some of you were in fundraising, so you could simply go to the category of fundraising, and then there will be a series of software and things that, that are recommended or that fall into that particular solution. So um, here is where you can just scroll down and you can look at all the offerings, the product offerings that are related to fundraising. And again, that's online fundraising. Here you go donations and grants, payment and processing, um, and e-commerce. So the, you know, there are, there's a ton on our website, and if we had four hours, we'd probably never cover it, all of it. Um, and I think the other thing I tried to do before um, was do a search. So if I wanted to search for Office 365, I could also put it in this search button here or this search here, and then you'll have all of the things that pop up that are related to Office 365. Um, something else you should note before I go to hardware again um, is that here's the Product Donation tab. Right? I did the search. Product Donations came up. But there's also um, Wraparound Care, so what I call Wraparound Care. These are the things that can help you use that particular product, so articles and how-tos. Um, webinars. We do record a lot of our webinars. I'd say 99% of our webinars are recorded and posted, so you can access them for free. Um, forums or blogs. You can access those by clicking on the Community tab. And then other resources. So when you do a search, you should access each of these tabs to find additional information about how to um, take that technology and adopt that new technology for your nonprofit. Okay, so I covered Adobe and Microsoft, and I did want to take you to oh, – okay. I just wanted to make sure Daphne had, had looked. I wasn't sure if there was something I missed. Um, I want to take you to the Hardware Center because I did talk about that in the PowerPoint. But here is if you go to the Product Catalog and you go down to the Hardware Center, you, there's a carousel here. So there's the new refurbished hardware, the RCI program that I talked about. And you can see here we change this periodically depending upon what we have in stock and, and what what um, our partners offer. You can also browse the RCI catalog. So um, I'll take you to that link very quickly. So you can see all of the additional products. And you can see here there's desktop computers, monitors. You can also purchase extended warranties. And I am going to go back quickly because the other parts of this carousel, we have mobile hotspots. Um, Linksys Networking, and then the new Dell Hardware Program. Some of you were asking about that particular program. So you can see what the latest discounts are. Um, you can also look at um, the different uh, details, the service cost, the rules, eligibility, and restrictions. So as I mentioned, um, the discounts um, do change periodically. So right now you can save on the following. So it's 10% off of specific things, 5% off of others, and then additional 5% off of these products. 
So it's kind of like um, it's kind of like a coupon that you use at a grocery store. So those ex then when they they'll update the discounts to new products quarterly. So when you when you come to this particular site, you can actually see what the current discounts are. Okay. So that is hardware, and I did want to. I took. I told you about the eligibility check. Um, I did also want to take you to our community page, where you can access our events and our online learning. And then I'll take you to our our help tab, where you can see where you can connect with folks. So on this home page, this events and webinars page, you can see our upcoming events. You can register. All of our events are free. You can also look at this. Um, calendar, we list meetups and events that could be in your neck of the woods. We also list all of our upcoming webinars that don't fit in this top carousel. We do update this weekly. Um, but if you really want to keep or be in the know, you can jump ahead and you can go to July and look at events that are coming up in July. And you can see here our free webinars. The other thing you can get a link to is our TechSoup Courses, where you can go to our TechSoup Courses catalog. And this is a third-party site that hosts all of our courses. So you essentially just need to get an account, just like getting a library card, and then you can check out any of our courses. As I mentioned, the majority of these are completely free. Um, so we do have web design best practices. This talks about what type of content, um, navigation, user experience. It's not about building a website, but it's about the best practices when planning. That's free. Um, we work with our partners to develop these courses to, to really help you adopt technology. The other thing I wanted to show you before I go back to questions is the article that I chatted out earlier. This is the end of our fiscal year, so you should note that your organization could be eligible to place additional orders this year, or you may already have tapped out. Um, and then you'll, starting July 1st, you'd be able to begin again ordering products. So with that, I I think I've covered all of the things most folks wanted. Let me go back. And, and I'm going to just go ahead and go through some of these questions with Daphne. Um, ben, uh, accessing the Dell account discount. So I do want to make sure you guys understand that when you go to our website, you can read more about the Dell uh, affiliate program. So what you do is you will place an order for that particular product, and that will give you access to the discounts. And then you can order the products on their website. So um, hopefully that, that answers your question. I can go back and share that very quickly. Okay. So when you do go to the products and you go to Dell, we do have a few minutes, so I have time to just show you this. So you can view the details of this, and then you would log in. You'd have to have an account, and then you can actually place that order. So hopefully that helps answer that question. And let's go ahead and address some of the other – Daphne has some answers. Okay, so one of the questions um, from Ben – oh, actually it wasn't from Ben. It was, it was Ron who asked about, um, do we advise nonprofits on software? Um, so at, here at, at, at TechSoup in the uh, Account Management Team Customer Service, you know, we are more than, than help, willing to kind of help you um, like navigate the, the website and to point you into a certain direction. We do not have the training of – of, of outside IT um, support, or um, so we, we often can. Like if you come and say, "I'm looking for an accounting program," we can kind of point you in the direction, point you in some articles. Um, we do um, ask that you know if you could do as you know, we advise you to do as much research as possible, reaching out to the donor partner. We do have a program um, that that is fairly new. It's called IT Assist. 
and that what that is is that is um, managed IT services for nonprofits. And so what it is is TechSoup has um, has partnered with a um, with a tech company, and it's also a nonprofit. And what happens with um, with that is it's um, it, it's it's a way of getting. Um, monthly support for your tech needs at a reasonable rate. Um, it, that can be found in our actually website if you go under Services and click on. It says IT Assist. Um, there's a form there where you can fill out some information about your organization and what your needs are. Um, and so that would be something that if you're looking for um, kind of more long-term support. Um, but certainly, you know, if you have questions, um, you know, we're more than willing to, to help you on the phone and to, uh, or by email to, to point you in the right directions about what products um, would meet your needs. Thanks, Stephanie. And I did just chat that out to everybody. So you have that link about IT Assist. Um, our, our folks, um, our partners can, can help. Uh, but we, every nonprofit is so different. Um, we really can't make recommendations. We do, like Daphne said, we advise you just you read all the details. And I know for our um, our um, Adobe products, we do actually have a little quiz you can take to determine which product is, is the, the one you are most likely to use. And how about I write that down and I can include that in the follow-up email because it asks you a series of questions. And they make you, you – know, it makes you think about are you going to be creating a video, right? Or are you going to be doing a website? So it kind of tells you which programs would be more likely for, for uh, your use. And I'm going to write that down so I get that to you guys. Um, last question. Um, it looks like, Daphne, we've got about three minutes. So before I wrap up, last question about Dell um, is, is there a code that you use on, on Dell's website? Yes. So essentially what will happen is you'll get a code. It's like a coupon code. So um, the Dell Affiliate Program gives you a coupon code so that you'd apply that, and that would give you the special pricing. So I hope that does answer um, the question. So um, you can let us know in the chat. I don't – are there any other questions that you'd like to address, Daphne? Well, I just, I, I just quickly typed one in. Um, in terms of, of keeping up to date um, with kind of our new offerings, um, uh, there is a way that you can subscribe to our newsletters. Um, if you go to our, our website and you scroll down to the bottom right, there is a link to subscribe to our newsletters. And um, you can pop in your email. You can uh, you have an option of we have a weekly um, news and events. There's product alerts. There's a special uh, newsletter for libraries in particular. Um, so that can be a really good way of just kind of keeping abreast of what is coming up um, in terms of, of availability, availability of products. Yes, and that's actually a really good point. I mentioned before our product alert. Someone had asked about is there an alert that we can get. Well, we send out – it's called a PA, a product alert, when we do have new products or specials on products or, or something sunsetting. You know, the, the vendor is creating a new program or a new software or whatever. We, we do send that out in our product alert so you can subscribe for that. So. All right. As I wrap up, and I'm going to let Daphne go through the last few questions. Um, we have about one minute. I do wish to, to ask everyone that's on this uh, webinar, could you chat in one thing you learned today um, to help us understand what we did well, and something that you – or something you might share with a colleague? So as you do that, I want to tell you about our upcoming um, events. Um, we do got a, we have a library specific event coming up on the 28th, um, and then um, actually we have two on the, one on the 28th and one on July 11th. But then on the 13th of July, we have a really interesting webinar. Um, Mastercard has a special program where they've gathered data, and they're going to give insights. It's, it's a free program um, for nonprofits to really look at the you know, what people are donating to, how much they're donating, and it's it's been it's data that is is non-specific to individuals, but it helps nonprofits understand what they're doing right in terms of fundraising and what things they can do differently. 
So it's called How to Navigate the Charitable Giving Landscape. And you'd be able to kind of listen to the MasterCard folks and talk about why they created this, this special free program. And then um, later on in July, we're going to be talking about technology for social change. So um, we hope you join us for one of those, or hope you try some of our online courses. Um, I wish we had so much more time to really have um, even more question and answer. So um, I apologize if we didn't get to your question. They are all captured in our chat, and we will try to get back with you. So um, just last call. We have one minute. I want to just check with Daphne if there's anything else she would like to bring up. Okay. Okay, great. So um, hopefully this at least helps answer some of your questions. Um, and those that we didn't get to, we'll try and kind of follow up with you by email. And you can also use our site. Go under Get Help, and you can email us or you can call us. So I want to thank you for your time today. I know that those of you out there in nonprofits and libraries, your most valuable asset is your time. You do wear a lot of hats. Um, so thank you so much for your, your uninterrupted attention and your questions and your engagement. I also really want to thank Daphne because she is really kind of the technical person who knows answers to a lot of this. Um, so thank you so much, Daphne, for joining us today and for really being you know, the, the primary person answering questions. I will send everyone a follow-up email later on today with a link to the recording, as well as as many resources as I can possibly fit on that follow-up email. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.